guys, Eric and Dan here with ToolsInAction.com. Uh, today, we've got Dan here, obviously. We're going to go over the Master Heater. It's a 70,000 BTU. Um, I'm going to actually let Dan talk about it. Um, so, go ahead and... What's up, heaters? Winner. We love heaters. I'm a heater fanatic. Uh, we did some heater reviews. We did some propane heaters, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Heaters. I have a ready heater that is kerosene. This is also a kerosene heater. Basically, this unit right here is a radiant kerosene heater. What that means is it's not forced air. It is kind of forced air, but it's not traditional. It doesn't have your fan back here blowing through the tube uh, out the front, which gives you a lot of heat out this way. This will give you more of a radiant area, 70,000 BTUs. How it works is, just like a regular uh, forced air heater, has a fan down here that blows up and you know mixes all the stuff in here, chemicals, explosions. Heat. Heat, and then you get heat out of it. Has a four gallon tank, burns a half a gallon an hour, but, it, but in the instructions, kind of a little bit confusing, it says it has a max operating hours of seven. So if you did the math, it would be eight, eight yeah, so. but seven, so I don't know if that means you have to, at seven hours, just turn the unit off, cool it, um, you know. Actually, well, when you have a gallon in there, you probably want to just refill anyways, if yeah. you're going that long. Um, 1,750 square feet is what this thing will heat up. As with any heater, you want to have ventilation, have your garage door open, crack, windows crack. I have a carbon monoxide alarm. You can get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, Ace, any of your local hardware stores. This one happens to be battery powered. It was a two pack for 25 bucks. I mean, if it's going to save your life, it's worth it. You don't want to be working in the shop. Forget about it. Next thing you know, you know you're on the floor. Your wife's finding all your porno magazines. <laughs> <laughs> your life is over. No I'm kidding. Okay, on the back here, we have uh, the gas cap. Nice little, uh, actually the kerosene cap, I guess you call it. And a fuel gauge right here. Just a float fuel gauge. Works pretty good. When it gets to E, it runs a while. Um, one thing I did notice with this unit, as it starts running out of gas, the unit gets lighter. The unit without uh, fuel in it weighs 30 pounds. Uh, with fuel, uh, was a whole four gallon, so four times 6.5, 12, you know, 20, 50, 50 something, 60 pounds with the uh, fuel in it. But when it gets light, it kind of vibrates a little bit. You know, you can tell because it'll just, the, the fan, it'll get a little louder and, and a little more vibrating. So it uh, has all kinds of safety features on it. It will auto shut off if there's no flame, uh, if it doesn't ignite, stuff like that. When you do run it out of fuel, it makes a really loud clanking noise. Uh, when you put the fuel back in for it to bleed uh, the pipes. Is that what it's called, Eric? Bleeding the pipe. Okay, on the back here is your, also your area with all your safety items. And it gave you a bunch of extra stickers, which is cool. <clears throat> also comes with QR codes. One here and one on the top. So if you're tech savvy and you have a smartphone and you have a problem, you can just snap a picture and it will take you right to the uh, website. Now, what I really like about this is it uh, comes with all your ser authorized service centers. But here's the really cool thing. The manual, come over here and look, Eric, has, I mean, it's just one of the most comprehensive manuals I've ever seen. If there's any kind of problems, it's how you go in and maintain them. And here's the coolest thing right here for all you do-it-yourselfers. There's a complete schematic of the entire heater. So if you need a part, it's it's named, you know, tip over sensor, 75 dash, you got a part number, everything, so you can just go on there, get it all taken care of. And that's great for people that like to keep heaters and you know, sometimes you like to keep a tool, you know. It sucks after two years the thing breaks and you're like, oh I don't know, you gotta figure it out. It's great to have the ability and the uh, instructions to do that. Another unique feature is on the side here, actually it's not too unique, but is uh, 120 volts out. So it's not taking up one of your plugs. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the floor. You never want anything around a heater when you start it, and we'll show it to you in action. Okay, what we're gonna do now is fire up the master heater. Real simple, it's just an on-off switch. The cool thing about this also, which I'll show you, is when you turn it off, it will the fan will run for about five to 10 minutes just to cool the entire unit down. And that's great because let's say you gotta take it somewhere, or you're done using it on your job site, you don't have to wait you know, an hour for the thing to cool down. And even though that it has a safety guard here, this does get red hot. I mean, it'll, it will brand you. So here we go, we're gonna fire it up. Fan kicks on first, then we'll hear the igniter. And there you go.
So as you can see, uh, it's kind of like your normal heater, but instead of you know just blowing straight out, I'm kind of feeling it up here. I wish we had a thermal imager we could show you. It'd be super cool. So Eric will let me have one. So that's the cool thing about this heater. Now, like I said, it gets red hot here. You do not want to touch that. As Eric was saying, you want to be what is it, 13 inches? You said or 20 inches? Well, that was that was 16 for. Uh, yeah. Okay, you just want to make sure there's no combustibles around it. You know, you don't want to leave it unattended, anything like that. It's a great little heater. I like it a lot. It comes with a one-year warranty. So go ahead and uh, I'll put the, the uh, address at the bottom of the page. Check them out. On the back here, let me show you real fast. Can you see that red LED light? Yep. Okay, that red LED light uh, kind of indicates you have a few things. So when we shut it off, you can see the flame stop, but the fan's still going. So you don't want to just rapidly unplug it. You want the fan to stay on, because as you can see, it's... See the red glow? Yep. Okay, it's cooling. So within 5-10 minutes, I'll be able to touch that. Right now, I can't. So I'll put the link in the bottom of the video. Go ahead and check out uh, the Master Heater from Pinnacle International. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, go to ToolsInAction.com. ToolsInAction.com. When one tool just isn't enough. <laughs>